I have acquired another shovel, but this one, the shaft is fine, but it is missing a hilt. So I'm going to be making one, and I'm going to use this piece of construction timber because it's what I have, and it's firewood anyway. This is what the end of the shovel currently looks like, and I want to put a cap or hilt on the end, as such, a bit nicer than this, on the end, and that allows you to push easier and it spreads your weight other than on a sharp well it's not exactly sharp but when you're doing a great amount of force it's nice to have something big and fat and smooth so that's what I'm going to make and it's just a block of wood and I'll drill a hole and so that it'll sit onto the end and I'll round it up a bit so the first thing is to measure the diameter of the shaft so the diameter of this shaft varies from 33 millimeters to about 34 millimeters, so 34 is the bingo size I'm looking for. I have a chart here which I created of all the drill bits I have, and the closest one uh, I have 32 and 35, so I'll try 35 and we'll see. And then on the piece below, it tells me the 35 is a fortune of it, nice and easy. I have a wee uh, jig here I've created which is extremely simple. It is a bunch of holes and each hole is a different diameter. So the two holes, that, so the two pieces I wanted to drill is a 32 and a 35. And every time I need a new spacing, which I don't have, I just drill a hole on this piece. And it means I can take the shaft and there's the 35 hole and I can tell that it fits on, but it doesn't get tight till down here, which is a bit useless because the end cap is gonna be on here, but that's too loose. So if I use now the 32 one, it just fits on the end and stays on no more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill the cap piece with a 32 mil hole, and then I'll just whittle down the end of this uh, shovel here, and it'll fit then. After marking and rigorous remarking, I have finally got the final shape and size I want. So that's the end, and this is the other end, and then that's the edge, and this is the other edge. Uh, I started big, and then I was like, oh, that's too big, I'll go smaller, and then I thought, hmm, that's off-center. Then I got out a ruler, and then things got really precise. And there we have it, all done. Well, not quite, no. It's a little blocky, so we'll trim down the end of the shaft, round this up, and then it'll be all done. And so comes out the spoke shave once again. I'll just, uh, gonna round over these edges and make it pretty much circular, and, well, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So now it's about the rough shape, it's roundish, but uh, it's really not smooth at all and there's loads of it sticking out. So I'm going to take the block plane and I'll just go over and I'll get a nice clean edges. Now that I've got it to its final smooth, pretty smooth shape, it is usable. But to get it silky smooth, I'm going to take it over to the strip sander and finish her up. So the cap is all finished now and it can just 
sit on top there, except no. So I'll take the spoke shave and I'll just work away and whittle it down to 32mm and then this can just flop on. And there we go, only took a minute or two but the cap fits on like a glove. So now I just need to add some wood glue and leave it overnight. So I have absolutely jam packed the top of the lid with glue and now when I put it on I'll run it round a bit to let the glue come down to the edge and then I'll just plop it on like such and give it a swirl and there's the glue coming out. So there we go, that's it all finished and it looks a bit rough but it is silky smooth and it's ready to last another 10 years of use and abuse. So this isn't actually the first shovel video I've done, I did another one where I replaced a shaft. Uh, so now you can replace the shaft and replace the top. What else more do you need to do? Uh, you can make a shaft but I've, I've tried it before but it's very very hard to actually get a straight stick. I have one over there which is bent but uh, it's, it's a bit rough using and I just use it the odd time. So uh, subscribe and all that jazz and down below uh, other stuff you know 